All right, guys. So today I'm just going to be going through and showing you how to do this really simple uh, card trick involving this red deck. So I'm going to go through and let's go ahead and I'm going to look for, let's say, ace through four of hearts. So I don't really need to shuffle the deck. So I'm just going to be going through and picking out these very specific cards. And now all I got to do is find the three. So at this point, I can show you. I'm going to put the cards in order so it makes a little bit more sense. Let's put the three in the back here and I'll move the two up so I can show you here I have the four cards ace through four of hearts and all I want to do here is leave the deck off to the side I can show you I have ace two three and four of hearts just like this if I square up the deck and actually let's leave the three and the four in between the ace and the two and if I give the deck a bit of a twist you can see the ace of hearts so now I actually flip over in the middle of the pack and if I give the deck the pack is another spin you can see another card has flipped itself over in this case the two I flip it over and twist it again now the two should come back and as you can see now the three has slipped over and if I flip it one more time you should see now again the four has actually flipped itself over so if I can take your four show you all four of the cards face up just like this I can twist the cards and as you can see they have now all turned to black. So what this means is that if I snap my fingers, cars over here to the left have now also all turned to black. So this is a trick, guys, and if you want to know how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so here's how you guys can do the trick. So um, to start off, what you want to do is get two decks of cards, and you want to make sure that you have a different color deck and box and at least one card from the box and it has to be the four of hearts. So get two decks in whichever deck you want to use make sure that you take the opposite color and you use that box for that color in the four of hearts from that uh, deck. So in this case you have the red four of hearts and you take these other cards and this is going to be the ace through four and this is going to be the same color as the deck that you're using and before the trick starts you want to take the cards and kind of put them um, in the deck somewhere and I prefer to put them somewhere near the bottom half of the deck because when you're spreading through you don't want to accidentally flash this red four of hearts that's going to be on top of the deck like this okay so this is going to be uh, the setup basically the red four of hearts on the opposite color of the pack and you take the ace through four and you kind of put them throughout the deck and not in any order because you don't want to make it look like you already have a setup here so you put them in the bottom half of the deck so when you are spreading through you don't ha you have a less chance of flashing this four of hearts this duplicate four of hearts uh, in the back of the deck so at this point you have the ace through four kind of separated um, in the deck here and you have the red one on top covering everything up so at this point you can have the box and it's, it's a great idea to have the box with you during the trick because it makes a trick just look so much better so you take the red box, you open it up, and you take the deck out carefully this way not to flash any of the black cards. And so look, so I'll take this red deck. At this point, you can just go through, and you can say, look, so um, I'm just going to look for the ace through four in hearts. And you take the cards, and you can put them on the table. Make sure the spectator doesn't really lift them over or anything because they are obviously are a different color. So you leave them on the table. And at this point, you can scrap the packet, and you, then you can flip it back over. Okay, so it's still red, and the spectator is looking at the red box. Everything checks out. It looks good uh, from their view. So you pick up the four cards, and what you want to do is you want to put them in ace through four order like this. And you can go ahead, and you can flash these cards to the spectator a little bit to take off uh, the view from this deck. Because what you want to do is get a pinky break above that top card. Just push over the card pull it back get a pinky break and so, look, so I'll take the deck and then you just put all the four cards on top of the break square it up and now you're stealing all the cards from that break so you're stealing that one card and you're going to be doing a wrist kill by moving your left hand away from the four cards this way you're not going to be revealing the black card so you take it away you say look I'll put the deck on the table and at this point you can just count off the cards I'm in middle grip by the way this should be your setup at this point and one by one, you see, look at the ace, two, three, and in the last hand, you have a double, and like you say, four. So at this point, what you want to do is take the three and the four, 
and which is basically this double here as well. So you take the three and the four, you move it in between the ace and the two, square it up and say, look, at this point the setup is already here and then you can just twist the deck and say, look, uh, you'll be just fanning off the cards one at a time until you get to this last double here. And so, so the first card to flip over is actually the ace of hearts. You square it up and you repeat this process until you've gotten through all the four cards and we'll do it again. And at this point, the only thing that's gonna change is when you get to the four. So now you say, look, okay, so uh, the next card to be flipped over is the four. And as you can see, every card is here except for the four. And the four is actually flipped over. So what you do is you take the double here on the end you take it and you can use it to flip over the four and reveal that the four was actually flipped over. And then you drop the double on top. And then what you do is uh, an Ascanio spread to show all these cards without revealing the duplicate four. So I'll leave a link on the screen. I'm not going to get into too much detail with that. So at this point, you take the cards, you do the Ascanio spread, and you show them the faces of the cards and you square everything back up. And then what you want to do at this point is you can snap your fingers and say, look, all the cards, the backs have now changed to a different color. And then again, you do the Ascanio spread. You show them the backs of the cards. And at this point, you can square everything back up, kind of plop it down on the table. Uh, you want to make sure you're not going to reveal that red back, though, because that would kind of ruin the trick. So you leave the cards off here. And then the best part is when you flip over this deck and you can reveal to them that all the cards in this deck have now actually turned black as well. So. Uh, this is a trick guys, I hope you guys like it, and as always, thanks for watching.